Hello friends, my name is Rada Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the responsibilities of a scrum team. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and very important with respect to project management, especially if you are a scrum master or scrum team member and you are uh, you have to manage the uh, projects of IT related or software related projects. So uh, friend, let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. Responsibilities of a scrum team. First of all, we have to understand that what is actually the scrum. A scrum is a framework which we use to manage the software or IT based projects. It is the concept based on agile based approach which says that we divide the project into multiple chunks called as a sprint. A sprint is a three to four week time period and we uh, deliver the project in multiple chunks to the customer and we plan, develop, test and then deploy in each sprint. So basically we take took the uh, chunk of our task from, from the whole scope of work and then deliver it to the customer in multiple chunks. So that is the main concept of Scrum Framework actually. So in the Scrum Framework we have three main role Product Owner, Scrum Team and the Scrum Master. Product Owner is a person who has the vision uh, what needs to be developed, what needs to be delivered the scrum master is a person who is the uh, who is the facilitator for the scrum team now the scrum team is one of the role in the uh, scrum framework scrum team uh, is a group of team member you can think of this as uh, the group of uh, the software engineers software developers qa engineers uh, deployment engineers so scrum team is a core team which is basically delivering the uh, which is basically delivering the project for example uh, let's assume that you are making an e-commerce solution and uh, there are four uh, software developers uh, one QA engineer one deployment engineer one database engineer so this will be a scrum team actually okay so the responsibilities of a scrum team is responsible for all the activities that lead them uh, towards their sprint goal sprint is a three to four week time period so uh, what is a sprint goal basically a sprint uh, like for example if there are 40 tasks and you took the 10 tasks for a sprint so sprint goal what is the sprint goal mean that means that you have to complete the 10 tasks for the sprint actually okay then they have to work with the scrum master to prioritize the scrum item uh, the uh, items from the product backlog in the sprint planning meeting Sprint planning meeting means that friend, uh, we took the uh, before starting the sprint, uh, we do the sprint planning meeting. In the sprint planning meeting, we decide that, for example, if there are total 40 tasks, so we took the 10 tasks and we plan that how we will deliver those 10 tasks during the sprint. So uh, to conduct the sprint planning meeting and dis uh, decide the priority that how we will do those tasks uh, which we have taken from the product backlog. So it is the responsibility of the scrum team. Then once committed is their uh, responsibility to fulfill the commitment and deliver the agreed results on the time with the uh, great quality. This is also the responsibility of the uh, scrum team. That me that means that whatever the response, whatever the task have been decided, they should have to deliver with the proper appropriate quality. This is also the uh, very uh, basic uh, responsibility of the uh, Scrum team. Here, remember, friend, one thing that a Scrum master is a person who is just facilitating the team. Scrum team is responsible to uh, deliver the task with the appropriate quality to the uh, to deliver to the customer then uh, the another responsibility of the scrum uh, team is that the scrum master is not responsible for keeping his team organized that is they are that uh, that is the duty of the scrum team to get self organized that means the team is basically not dependent on the scrum master there is a no, no concept of uh, basically head of department concept is not there in the scrum team the scrum team is self-organized. Self-organized means that they are self-motivated, they are uh, self-decision makers, they are taking the decisions by their own self, they are prioritizing the things according as per their needs. So remember the scrum master here uh, is a role who is just facilitating the team 
if there is any issue during the implementation there uh, during the problem uh, any problem so a scrum master is a person who is removing those obstacles from the way of the scrum team however the scrum team is uh, self organized they are uh, they are taking the uh, pro product uh, they are taking the sprint uh, backlog they are decision that how they will deliver the things to the uh, customer then uh, they have to be agile in the office and have to attend every stand up and other ceremonies this is also the responsibility of a scrum team agile means friend that uh, the uh, scrum team is responsible to conduct the uh, daily scrum meeting daily scrum meeting is a 15 uh, minute meeting which we have to conduct on every day uh, it, is, it is the responsibility of a scrum team that they should have to conduct that meeting in that meeting they have to uh, describe what they have done yesterday what they are doing today what they are going tomorrow so all those things should be discussed in the uh, in the daily stand up meeting also other ceremonies like uh, sprint planning meeting in the sprint planning meeting they have to decide that what they are going to uh, took from the uh, product backlog product backlog is the main uh, requirement document of the product and sprint backlog is the uh, doc is the user stories which we have taken from the product backlog so sprint uh, to conduct the sprint planning meeting this is also the uh, responsibility of the uh, scrum team then sprint review meeting sprint review meeting means that whatever ever we have uh, developed we have to showcase or display it to the customer that to conduct that meeting a sprint review meeting it is also the responsibility of the uh, scrum team that they must have to conduct the sprint review meeting after the sprint review meeting the next meeting is the uh, sprint retrospective meeting in the sprint retrospective meeting uh, the scrum team is responsible to uh, discuss whatever the issues are there whatever the problems are there what we have to learn what we have to learn that whatever the mistakes we have done we should have not have to repeat those mistakes actually this is also the responsibility of a scrum team so uh, all the uh, uh, ceremonies like daily stand up meeting sprint uh, review meeting a uh, sprint planning meeting uh, the sprint retrospective meeting so all those meeting needs to be conducted by the uh, scrum team this is the responsibility this is the responsibility of the scrum team then they have to participate in all the meeting despite their uh, nature and have to ensure that all the findings of the meetings are getting pr practically addressed in the project this is also a very important point friend that uh, that uh, if you are uh, addressing if you are conducting the daily stand up meeting and if there are any issues are arising are discussing during the daily stand up meeting so st uh, scrum team is self organized so they are focused to resolve those issues by themselves they are not dependent on scrum master or any other role or product owner they are self motivated they are self organized and self decision maker so they are uh, they are resolving their issues by themselves so uh, thank you friend thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you